All right. <clears throat> Day number two. Keep putting my hand in front of that thing. Um, it's a lot colder than I thought. I had the bright idea of wearing shorts and some boots and walking in the water, just like wading in the water without waders. I think I'm still gonna do it, but it's pretty cold. It's 46 out, so it may not be the best idea I've ever had. Look at this car. It's a, oh, it's one of the new three, 350 or 370Zs, whatever. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of the new ones. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, six o'clock right now. I'm trying to get out there by sunrise and uh, hopefully catch a wild rainbow. I learned last night, it's actually a uh, McLeod, uh, a McLeod rainbow trout here in Crane Creek. So that's what we're going for. He's like, you don't sound like that. Oh. That was cool. Anyway. You hear him? He's still right there. So, yeah, one of nine done. It's going to be a lot harder than I thought, but at least I can say my first wild trout was a McLeod Red Band Rainbow out of Crane Creek. It just so happened to be the closest to where I live, but there's a couple others that are a decent uh, distance away from me. I'll probably hit up those next so I can make like a weekend or just drive there, you know, and, and spend a day fishing instead of having to go and camp. The ones that are farther away, I'll probably have to go and camp, but yeah, first wild rainbow in the bag, little guy. But it was a McLeod red band, so can't complain too much on a, this rod was 15 bucks. This reel was 30, I think. You guys saw it in the last video. But I did get a rig set up. 
I've got the fanny pack. I've got the camera holder on the back. It's got all my flies, my dry fly spray, all that good stuff in it. It's addicting, man. I'm like walking past all this water and I'm like, eh, maybe I'll just go throw there real quick. But wife and baby are waiting at home. So I don't know if I'm going to come back here before I go to another spot or not. But either way, thanks for sticking around. Like I said, it won't be much of a storyline, but maybe I can put something together. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. I'm trying to do something a little different while it's not hunting season. Once summer hits, those deer start growing their antlers. I'm going to be out looking for those. So I'm. Uh, we're going to set our sights on a lot better caliber deer, deer this year. Um, the one I shot in Missouri last year was a little, I mean, it was a two-year-old, but it was in full velvet. The one Mason shot last year was a good buck, and then I got on a good buck probably a four-year-old in texas so um, that's what we're going to try to stick to um i look for the mature deer the bigger deer and uh yeah i'm going to start that this summer once they start growing thanks for watching guys this is uh, crane creek in crane missouri we'll uh See you guys on the next video.